HBO's The Last of Us is getting closer to gracing our screens with each passing day, and in anticipation of the show's release, HBO has unveiled some truly amazing character posters that highlight the show's main ensemble. In today's video, we'll be going over each of the main characters from the show, and we'll also discuss Troy Baker changing his perspective on the ending after having a child. So, let's dive right in. First off, HBO released character posters from The Last of Us TV show. New posters from HBO's upcoming The Last of Us adaptation adaptation have fans super excited. The posters feature series leads including Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey as Joel and Ellie. From the looks of it, the images are taking heavy inspiration from the game's original box art. It's a small detail, but we're sure fans of the original game will very much welcome this. It just goes to show that HBO's putting in that extra effort to make this closer to the source material. We also got to see posters of other cast members, including Anna Torv as Tess, Gabriel Luna as Tom, and Nick Offerman as as Bill. It's safe to say, even in a post-apocalyptic world, there's going to be tons of human drama in this series. In total, there are about 11 posters highlighting the characters we're going to be seeing in the first season of the show. All of the characters showcased in the posters are from the video game, although characters like Bill's partner Frank never actually showed up on screen, so it's possible that the show might be giving us some added backstory or details. We do know that it's going to feature some new characters like Marion and Florence, we just hope hope any of the new additions don't feel like they were tacked on. Next, how close to the original games will the TV series be? It's tough to say exactly if the TV series will follow the video games to the dot, but fans of the original may find comfort in the fact that the TV show is being developed by some of the same names. Druckmann, who's the original writer and co-director of the first game and the sequel, is working as the show's co-creator. He's joined by Mazin. It's possible that Druckmann will also be co-writing some episodes. The show's executive producer is Evan Wells, who's the CEO of Naughty Dog. They're the company behind The Last of Us games, so it's safe to say that the people who made the games will have a significant influence on the show. The show's score is also being done by a familiar name, Gustavo Santaolalla, who made the soundtrack for The Last of Us and its sequel will be returning to work on the series. You don't need to worry though, he's got experience making scores for TV shows as well, having worked on series like Making a Murder and Jane the Virgin. That said, Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey have both previously stated that they've stayed away from finishing The Last of Us game because they didn't want to end up copying the performances of Troy Baker and Ashley Johnson. This could mean that the show's interpretation of the two characters will end up being different from what we remember from the games, though it could just be the actors wanting to add their own flair to the characters instead of copying someone else's homework. Plus, could it be better for the show to stay a bit from the original games? It's safe to say The Last of Us has some of the best stories telling we've ever seen in a video game, but that still doesn't mean that copying it exactly will result in translating well in the form of a TV show. We've seen countless times in the past where outright copy-pasting elements from a video game to the TV screen doesn't always lead to success. Instead, it's more of a careful balance that requires the writers to not only be knowledgeable of the source material, but be able to transform that for television too. A lot of it comes down to the actors as well. By keeping things too similar to the games, you could restrict their acting capabilities and make them feel like they can't add their own flair to their performance. In the case of The Last of Us, it's no secret that the game sequel opened to a highly mixed reception from fans, and the main reason behind that was the game's story. While things have gotten a bit more positive since then, many fans are still quite upset over the story elements from the sequel. Most notably, the death of Joel was something that fans felt was heartbreaking, but also quite cheap, especially because the game forces you to play as a murderer and even sympathize with her. Which, let's be real, we're sure not many of us did. If the show being a bit different from the games means we can avoid that route for Joel, then we'll happily accept. We should also mention when the show will release. The first season of The Last of Us isn't too far away. It's going to launch on Sunday, January 15th, 2023. The show will launch the first of its nine episodes on HBO and HBO Max. The latter of these will offer 4K viewing, so we definitely recommend going for it if you want to see things in all their post-apocalyptic glory. And yes, while the series hasn't officially been confirmed to get a second season yet, HBO clearly has plans to continue it beyond just the first outing. The second season will probably get announced after the first one begins airing. For House of the Dragon, the Game of Thrones prequel, HBO announced that a second season was confirmed after the very first episode aired. Plus, back in 2020, while talking to BBC, Mazin stated that he and Druck 
Hawkman were at the time planning on how to properly figure out the first cycle of the series. This indicates that the show will continue beyond the first season and we might even get to see the characters grow up and change as we did in the games. Fans have been waiting for this show for a long time and with the release being so close, it almost feels too good to be true. We wonder if the hype means that the show might be able to break House of the Dragon's record on HBO. The series managed to be HBO's biggest premiere episode of all time, either way, it's going to be a victory for both HBO and the fans if it does. Moving on, Troy Baker's perspective on The Last of Us ending changed after having a child. During a recent interview, Troy Baker, who voices Joel in The Last of Us game, stated how having a son changed his view of the game's controversial ending. Baker was referring to Joel's decision at the end of the game. He chooses Ellie by preventing the Firefly scientists from performing a fatal operation on her that could have led to the discovery of a cure of the cordyceps. This may have led to society managing to somehow recover from the illness, though despite this possibility, Joel still chose to save Ellie instead. The voice actor mentioned that back when they were making the game, he felt like he was at a disadvantage to Neil Druckmann. This was because Neil was a father, and so Troy was simply acting while the possibility of losing a child was a very real thing for Druckmann. Now that he's a father, Troy stated that he doesn't know what he'd do if he lost him, but he does know that if he had the opportunity to save him, he'd do anything to make sure his son was alright. Even if that means going to the same lengths as Joel, the voice actor continued that a lot of people asked him why Joel made the decision that he did, why in the end, he chose to save Ellie instead of saving the world. But for Joel, Ellie was his world, and so by saving the girl, he was, in fact, saving his world. That's definitely quite an amazing interpretation and should help to provide some insight to fans who are still puzzled by Joel's choices so many years later. Finally, Troy also shared some more details in the trailer. During the same interview, Baker revealed some details from The Last of Us game, specifically the idea that Joel wanted to become a singer and Ellie wished to be an astronaut came from conversations that he had with Ashley Johnson and Druckmann on set. Baker also stated that he would love to be involved in a Daredevil game. Both Batman and Daredevil have long been his comic book loves. And so, he'd love for a Daredevil game where the character's blindness plays a key role. He added that the reason why we play games is that the characters can do stuff we can't, and so he's intrigued to use Daredevil's blindness as a concept to add a new level of challenge to himself as an actor. He's already played Batman before, so it seems he's still hoping to knock Daredevil off his bucket list. And that's a wrap for this video. What are your thoughts on the new posters that HBO has released from the Last of Us series? Comment below, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching, we'll see you in the next one.